Hey class, Mr. Evanoff here. Uh, we started our new activity today, the tragedy of the commons, uh, thinking about uh, fisheries and ecosystems. And so I just wanted to give you a quick recap of where we are. We'll continue this next time in class. So here we go. So continuing in our ecology unit, uh, trying to think about the limited resources we have and how we can use them the most wisely. So we started thinking about this question of what impact do you think human overuse has on fisheries and how can we control it? We talked about overuse when we thought about Chesapeake Bay and some of the other challenges we've looked at. Um, so we're going to continue that in this activity. So one thing to think about as you read through the introduction, um, if you didn't already do that in class, is to think about what a commons is. Uh, what are some examples of commons in our community? Common uses, common resources that we share. So make sure you do read through the intro. It'll be in the quick check if you haven't already looked at it. And the reason I wanted you to make sure you look at it is it gives us some information about a couple of new vocab words, a couple of new ideas we're going to look at. Ecosystem services, which are the air, water, and food, which we benefit directly from, but also climate regulation, the cycling of nutrients, which are more indirectly beneficial. And then this idea of the tragedy of the commons. So this was actually an economic uh, theory put forth in like the late 1960s and it says that if people are allowed to use a common resource however they want they'll overuse the resource and cause its destruction so I just want you to spend a moment thinking about things you know from our own world is that true and it probably is if you really think about it very hard so our challenge was how can we how can the overuse of an ecosystem service be prevented uh, we're using a modeling actually we used it, it's a fun game but the scientific term to think about it would be a model. Um, and how might scientists use model in their research? So we had fun with this game, but it also serves a really good purpose to show us what this might look like in the real world. Um, and so we're going to try modeling different limits. So uh, for those of you that were in class, we got through two rounds. We started with no limits, and then we moved to a round with some limitations. We will see what we are able to get uh, if we increase our limits or try some different approaches next time. If you missed class, um, haven't gotten the data, I'll make sure that with the next quick check to put up some sample data so you can check it out. All right, well, I'm looking forward to the, extending this activity with you. See you next time.